All right, this is the 40 inch wide Rapide uh, air mat sleeping pad from Big Agnes. Uh, this is an ultra lightweight air pad that weighs two and a half pounds and it's huge. It's the same size as a single mattress. So a single mattress is like 39 inches wide by 72 inches long. So here it is all folded up. Now the advantage of this is that it's lighter and uh, it rolls up a lot smaller than other air pads that are as big. So if you're gonna be sleeping in the back of a van or car camping or traveling a short distance or splitting your gear up amongst friends, like one person carried the tent and the other person carried the sleeping pad, um, this one sleeps two people. And it's just simply more technologically innovative and lighter and smaller than any other air pad the same size. If you were to go to Costco, and buy an air mattress this, this same size, it would weigh like five to 10 pounds and it would take a giant uh, you know, air pump that plugs into your cigarette lighter, et cetera. Uh, so this one is for camping and it's ultra lightweight, but to put it into perspective, uh, this is a one pound DCF tent, okay? This is the Durston Gear X Pro Mid 2 in DCF. It weighs one pound, it's a whole entire tent. And you can see how it's the same size as the Rapide the Rapide uh, 40 inch wide sleeping pad is about as big as a one pound tent. And it weighs more than twice as much. This is a two and a half pound air pad and a one pound tent. So it's obviously not the lightest option out there. And it's not for every situation. It's not uh, super ultra lightweight. It's just, it's just a lot lighter and smaller than anything else the same size. So to put it in a perspective, I've got the uh, Big Agnes Long Wide Axle here. This is about the same size as the Zoom that they sell. Um, it's a 25 by 78 inch long wide air pad. It's an ultra lightweight and you can see how much smaller it is. Okay. It's, it's actually considerably smaller. It's a one ounce. It's a one pound air pad in comparison to a two and a half pound air pad. Okay. Uh, here's the, uh, this is one of the warmest air pads out there. This is the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. Okay. This is a one pound air pad. It's a mummy shaped. It's much smaller but it weighs the same as other ultra lightweight air pads, okay? And you can see the difference in size. Okay, this is the X-Therm. I've also got a 3 4th torso air pad here. So just like from, you know, this air pad doesn't accommodate your feet. Um, it only goes down to your waist, from your head to your waist. Um, and uh, it's kind of like the Uber Light or the Thermarest Neo Air x Light, uh, but it's a 3 4th torso pad to put it into perspective, you know, this is like the biggest ultra lightweight air pad that you can get. And this would be like the size of the smallest right here. Okay, just to put it into perspective, okay? All right, so I've got the, I've got this little flex tail um, pump here to pump up the air pads. And so I'll pump them up and then I'll show you the difference between the, um, the old Big Agnes long wide axle in comparison to the Rapide and talk about the weight difference and what has changed with Big Agnes's air pads and why maybe the Rapide is better. Um, and just the overall specs, you know, how the weight makes a difference. Um, it has a new valve on it and how the new improved valve does make a difference, etc. And how it all breaks down. So, right, here we go. Comes with a little patch kit and an extra valve on there. Comes with the, okay, stuff sack, okay, got this nice uh, pump sack, it's an air sack for pumping up the uh, air pad, snaps on right here, okay, all right, okay. All right, so this air pad is so big I can barely fit it into the shot. I had to move the camera a lot just to uh, get, get the air pad on camera. I'm gonna take out the Big Agnes axle, the long wide, and place it on top of here just so you can see the difference in size. Okay, so maybe my specs were a little wrong. I thought that the Rapide 40 inch was 78 inches long, but I think maybe it's only 72 or something because I can see that the Big Agnes uh, 78 inch long air pad is a little bit longer. Um, and the Big Agnes axle, you know, it would pop a lot. And that's why I got like four of them. Big Agnes has a lifetime warranty on their air pads. I started out with the long wide uninsulated axle and popped two of those. I got the insulated mummy shaped axle, which I liked a lot. I 
and then I ended up getting the long wide axle and just unexpectedly the valve started to fail. Um, but you can see it right here. It's only got one valve on it, kind of like the zoom. Um, so I'll, I'll go into more description about this valve in a minute, but just basically what I'm finding is that the material that popped all the time on the axle is very similar to the material that's on the Rapide. Uh, I think that what they've done is they've added a laminate to the inside of the material, causing it to be more durable and warmer. Basically, the thicker, tougher material will lock out the cold temperatures better, causing the air pad to be warmer. But otherwise, the pads are very similar. It's just that the Rapide is heavier. So the 20 inch wide Rapide is actually the same weight as the long wide version of the axle. So this axle, the, 70, the 25 by 78 is the same weight as the 20 inch wide Rapide. So they've made the material heavier and tougher, allowing it to be warmer, but slightly heavier. Ah, cool. All right. I got the flex tail to snap into place. That's pretty awesome. And I blow it up. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun to watch. Um, the flex tail pump, it does a good job pumping up the air pad. And this is how big it is. Um, might as well get on it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's huge. So let's talk about, you know, what, what would be the intended use of this air pad? Also, the, the material feels tough. I've heard other YouTubers say that this material is like um, indestructible. I found that it isn't indestructible. It could pop, uh, but it does feel, it definitely feels tougher than the older axle air pad um, for Big Agnes. And supposedly this has got a little bit of polyester insulation in it, which works good. It gathers up, you know, it's got little pockets of air that gather up your body heat pretty well and keep you warm. And on top of that, it's got a layer of reflective foil that reflects your body heat back up at you. And basically the way that that works is when you're asleep and you're laying perfectly still, you know, your body's just gonna be radiating body heat and it's gonna bounce back up at you and allow you to get a little bit warmer than usual. Plus the cold air that's on the bottom of the air pad is gonna be reflected back down by the foil. Okay, so it's gonna kind of protect you from the cold. Um, I mean, obviously, this air pad is awesome for sleeping in your van, uh, car camping, pulling up to a campsite and getting in there and sleeping on it if you're not going to be carrying it. Or if you're carrying it not a very long distance, like to a lake to go fishing, um, if you're only going to be hiking for like 30 minutes or an hour, or if you're going to be splitting your gear up amongst uh, more than one person, you know, this, this air pad is good. Um, you know, I got it with... Uh, Big Agnes's lifetime warranty program. So I kind of like just upgraded and upgraded and upgraded to this one. I only paid 50 bucks for it because they gave me store credit to the older axle that I had, the long white axle. So I kind of just went up and up and up in price gradually over time. I staggered it to make it affordable, you know. Um, Big Agnes, you know, most of their air pads are pretty heavy. They really are for car camping and for comfort. You sacrifice weight with comfort, so as you get lighter and lighter and lighter, the air pads become less plush and less, the texture is less interesting on your skin, etc. Um, the other air pads from Big Agnes, they're actually really heavy, tough, gigantic air pads. They don't blow up as big as this. As far as real estate, this is the biggest sized air pad that they sell, uh, but they sell heavier materials that don't pop as easy um, and that are just warmer, etc. You know, but they're not necessarily for carrying on the Appalachian Trail, you know, from Mexico to Canada, something like that. They would be too heavy for that. Okay, so to put it in a perspective, I'll blow up some other air pads and just show you, you know, how, how you could compare the Rapide to other air pads and talk a little bit about, you know, what makes air pads warm, you know, the weight and how they work, etc. So, all right, so now you can clearly see you know, the difference in size between a mummy shaped air pad and this 40 inch wide Rapide air pad. Um, I really enjoy the 40 wide mummy air pads. The Big Agnes mummy is exactly the same shape as this one. Uh, if you use a sleeping bag, they work pretty well. You know, if you sleep inside of a sleeping bag. Now, if you're only using a blanket or a quilt, the 20 inch wide air pads are gonna be too narrow, but they're not too narrow if you use a sleeping bag. And I like that system. I like to just use a mummy bag and a mummy pad, and to me it works really well. But the, I just blew this one up to show you kind of a comparison of the size. You know, there's an obvious difference in size. 
This is this is one of the warmest air pads that you can buy. It's the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. And one of the things that makes it warmer than the Neo Air X Lite, so the X Lite is the yellow one and the X Therm is, is this blue one. What makes the X Therm warmer than the X Lite is that it's got a 70 denier nylon bottom that's a lot, of, a lot thicker and tougher than the yellow X Lite. So that yellow X Lite, it could pop, and this one, the 70 denier blue X Therm, it doesn't pop. And it's also warmer because the, the material is thicker and tougher and it locks the cold air out better. So that's also true with the Rapide, the older air pads from, from Big Agnes, like the Axle. They had a thinner material that didn't lock the cold out of the air pad as well. And so they weren't really as warm as the Rapide. So not only does the Rapide not pop as easy, I think it still could pop, but uh, just like the Neo, that yellow Neo Air, Neo Air X Lite from uh, Thermarest, it could pop. The Rapide also, it could pop. So this X Therm, is the same weight as the Big Agnes Rapide in the 20 inch wide version. Now, the X Therm is a lot warmer than the Rapide, okay? So the, the issue there is that Thermarest has done a really good job of figuring out how to use Reflectix, reflective foil to create warmth from your body heat. And basically a lot of the other companies have struggled to do it. I think that Nemo, you know, they've, they've made a bunch of changes and a bunch of improvements to their Tensor, yeah. So then, so Nemo makes an air pad like this called the Tensor, but as far as I'm aware, the Thermarest version it, the, is the warmest, okay? Now, Big Agnes make the Zoom in yellow, which is similar to the Neo Air X Lite. It uses that reflective insulation, but as far as I'm aware, the only company that's really done a really thorough, efficient job of developing technology that can get you warm using that reflective material is the Thermarest, okay? So the other companies, they use the polyester insulation, and I think that that does work, you know? It is easier to make a warm air pad with polyester insulation than with the reflective insulation. The Reflectix, uh, that foil, it doesn't really work that well most of the time. Um, Thermarest have done some, you know, they've worked some miracles in order to make their air pad warm. And that type of engineering just isn't available from other companies. So even though Big Agnes, they offered that zoom with a reflective insulation, Thermarest is really the only company that's really perfected that, that style. One other improvement that you get with the Rapide over like the zoom or the old axle from Big Agnes is this better valve, okay? It's, it's a beefier, heavier valve with two valves here. And basically the way that it works is you can, you can touch this one to allow the air out, but if you're really gonna allow the air out of the air pad, you would just pop open the second one and it just, you know, it just empties the air out quickly. Okay, now the reason that there's an advantage to that is because when you use one valve. All right, so with Big Agnes, if you only use one valve, what ends up happening is in order to release the air from here, like on the zoom, you have to pull up on this tab and get this single valve to bulge out, okay? And once you've done that, the air will start to escape out of this dimple right there. But what ends up happening is you have to put it into your pack with it kind of releasing air in order to get all the air out of the air pad. And over time, this valve, it kind of gets creased and then it starts to leak air out of it, okay? So with the two valve system, like on the Rapide, even though it weighs a little bit more, that's a much better system because your valve doesn't suffer as much wear and tear and it's not gonna find a way to leak over time. You know? All right, now just to put it into perspective again, I've got a, um, a 3 4 torso air pad here just to show the difference in size and I'll blow that out. My, my foot box can sometimes get really cold if I only use a 3 4 torso air pad and I don't really know all the physics about that but for some reason my air pad will always be warmer if I use a little mummy. And here's the mummy, and here's the 3 4 torso. So you can see how the foot box is missing from the 3 4 torso air pad. And for some reason, even if I put my uh, foot pack, my foot box of my sleeping bag onto my backpack or something else, for some reason it can, the foot box can, of my sleeping bag can get really cold. And so this 3 4 torso system, it doesn't really work that well for me. So I usually use the mummy shaped air pad. But this is just to put it in a perspective. You've got the 40 inch wide Rapide with the 3 4 torso air pad and then a mummy pad just to kind of get a glimpse of what it all looks like here. I'm pretty excited to have 
the 40 inch wide uh, Rapide. I think it's a pretty awesome system. If I'm gonna be doing any uh, camping in my, in my van or in my car, or car camping, etc., this is like a really awesome luxury item to have. I mean, you're more or less guaranteed to get some sleep. If you're tired from hiking and you lay down on this thing at like 4.30 in the afternoon, you're most likely not gonna get out of bed until the next day. It's just like extremely comfortable. Um, it's just awesome. And it's awesome to know that they've kind of improved the valve a little, just beefed it up a little so that it doesn't fail. Um, one thing that you can do to prevent these air pads from popping is you can put a nice new piece of Tyvek underneath it from eBay. The Tyvek has kind of a tough metallic uh, property to it that prevents the air pads from popping. It, it smooths out all the edges of the sharp sticks and pebbles on the ground. And if you use Tyvek, if you put a nice new piece of Tyvek under your air pad, you're more or less guaranteed not to pop it. And so they can last a really long time. The one thing that it can go wrong is the valve. And Big Agnes has improved the valves. So I think that, you know, this air pad has got a nice long lifespan to it, maybe two, three, or even five years, you know, which is really what's been missing from these air pads is that they only kind of last a year and they have to be replaced. So it's nice to see the company stepping up and making the air pads a little bit tougher and, and more long lasting so that you can use them year after year. When you go on a camping trip, you can reach for your gear and know that your air pad is still working out for you and take it with you and enjoy the trip, et cetera. So that's pretty awesome.